Hello there, it's me Sibin from Librami. In this video, I will explain what is REST API module in Librami Chatbot Builder. Using this REST API module, you can build a very powerful chatbot. For example, if you are already building a chatbot using Librami, you already know how to build a basic chatbot. But in some cases, you might need to communicate with a third-party server in order to push a data which you collected from the chatbot to a third-party server. Also, you may need to fetch the data from the server and push it to the user through WhatsApp. To do that, you can use this REST API module. So basically, the possibilities of building chatbots is limitless. First of all, I will explain you how this REST API module is in real demo, and then I will show you how to implement this. Also in this video, I will explain what is dynamic choices. You probably already using a quick replay with the predefined data like this. For example, this is a quick replay to confirm the address with the predefined values such as change and confirm and continue. Similarly, you can create a list message also with the predefined value up to 10 options. But using the dynamic choices, you can dynamic dynamically render this data to the user chatbot. You can fetch the data from a server. For example, if you are building an appointment system, you can fetch the available appointment for the next X days from a server and make it available to the user using a dynamic quick replay or dynamic list replay. Similarly, for any use case, you can fetch the data using the REST API and then make it available to the user through WhatsApp using the dynamic quick replay and the dynamic list replay. So let's first see a demo and then I will explain you how to implement this. I have shared an e-commerce chat flow on the screen. This chatbot will trigger when a user places an order through WhatsApp. And this chat flow is already integrated with the Libromi's e-commerce platform. So in this chatbot, I have already used the REST API and the dynamic quick replay and list replay. This feature is used to fetch the delivery slots from the server also to update the selected delivery slot to the server. Let's see this e-commerce chat flow in action, then you will understand better. Here I have shared my WhatsApp on the screen and directly opening the catalog from WhatsApp so that I can place an order easily. So I'm adding some product to the cart and then placing an order. It is asking to confirm my address since I previously ordered. So I'm confirming the address. And now you can see a list message to select the delivery slots. So here, if I click the delivery slots, it will display the available slots. The first one today, there is no slots available. The second one tomorrow, yeah, there is two slots available. Similarly for day after tomorrow and for the next five days. So and now I'm selecting tomorrow and then send next. Now it has sent to the server and fetch the time slots for tomorrow. So now I'm selecting the time slots. Now in this step, the time slot will be served on the server. So now I can complete the order with the cash and delivery and the order is completed. Now let's explore these modules in more detail. So here, just after confirming the address from the user, I'm using the REST API module here to get the delivery days from the server. Here the server means there's a separate e-commerce platform, which is Librami e-commerce platform. Here there is an option for the merchants to create the delivery slot group. The delivery slot may be different for each location. And Librami has its REST API to make these slots available through an API. So here I have shared my REST API. You can see this is a get request. This is the API endpoint URL. This is shop. So if I make a request using the send button, it will fetch the delivery dates in this format. You can see it's a data with an array of delivery slots. Each delivery slots are defined in a JavaScript object. Here you can see there is an ID for each delivery slots, title and label. We have made this API response in this format to easily integrate with the dynamic quick replay and list replay message. So now let's recreate this API request in Librami chatbot. I'm copying the API endpoint. You can see it's a get request. Now I'm recreating this API module here. To do that, simply drag and drop the REST API module and click and expand. So here you can paste the webhook URL and enable the advanced configuration. Here you can see it's a post request on default. Change to get request on this case. And now do a test request. And now you can see the exact same response from the server. So here the server response is already following the required format to use it on the dynamic quick replay or the list replay. So let's save this data into variable. To do that, just save in this variable. This will appear only after doing the test request. So click on the save in variable and then add an entry. So here the first item will be the ID. Since this is an array of object, it will be mapped to a variable called ID. That's an array. So here you can see the ID on this format as items of array of ID. So I'm selecting the ID. I'm saving to a variable example day IDs. I'm saving. And the next one is we need to save the title also. The title also will be an array. So here it is data.flatmap.item.title. Okay. So I'm saving as example day title. And again, the next one is the label. In the list replay, we can actually show the title and the label to the customer. So we can save the label also as the label and then it will be example day label. So all these data are saved on arrays 
and now click outside. So this step is completed. Now we are successfully fetched the delivery slots from the server using the REST API module. Now the data we saved on variable can basically use anywhere in this chatbot for different purposes. But now we are about to use the dynamic list reply to send this data to the user. So simply drag and drop to the canvas and connect the edge. And here you need to define a body. For example, please select the delivery day. And now you can choose a button like view delivery days and then you can define a title like available days. Here this is the important part here the dynamic item is which we previously saved from the API request. So it will be example title. The next is IDs of dynamic items so which is required and you can select example day IDs which we previously collect from the API request. And next is the description which is example day labels. And then when a user select an item from the list message, we have to save which option they have selected. To do that, save ID in variable. We can use like selected day ID example. So in this variable, the chatbot will save the selected value. So far we have collected the delivery days from the server and send it to the user using the list message. Also, since this is an interactive message, the response also collected as a variable to selected day ID example. Now we can try the next request, so which will be delivery slots. The first one is delivery days. If the user select the day two, so it will be D2 saved on the selected day ID example variable. So I'm copying the D2 to make another request. So the second endpoint is fetching the delivery slots based on the selected slot. So which is D2 here in this case. So if I send a request which will fetch the available time slots based on that particular day ID. Here you can see two time slots is appeared. One is an ID with T1 from 2.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. And the second one is 3 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. So to fetch this one, what we can do here is we can use this endpoint and create another REST API module. Here, let's expand this and paste the API endpoint. And also on the advanced configuration, we can add query params. So the first query param here is, you can see it's a shop ID. So on the previous request, actually I predefined the same on the URL itself. It is better to define here as query param. So which the shop ID is 311 and the next option is the slot. Here the slot will be dynamic. It will be based on the user selection. So which we can select as a variable, which is selected day ID example which may be D2 for example. And before testing the chatbot, we have to give an example value for the selected day ID example. So here in the variable value for the test, selected day example will be D2. Now let's test the request and see if we are getting the same exact response here. We are received as expected. So here we can save this data as variables again. So the IDs and the titles. So save into variable. So this will be slot IDs. Save the items, items.id array to a example slot IDs. So the next is title. Uh, you can search for the title here in this box. So it is item.title and save into variable example slot title. That's it. So now you can send this data to the user. Before that, connect the edge from 25 to the 26 and then use the dynamic quick reply because we only have like two items drag and drop the quick reply into the canvas and connect the edge and now we can send a message like please select the slot and then here on the dynamic items you can choose the example slot title which we collect from the above api request and next will be the ids of dynamic item which is also example slot ids okay i'm showing that again this will be the variables example slot IDs and example slot titles. And now we have to save the ID of the item which the user is going to select. So that will be example selected slot ID. This variable will be further used to send a request to the server to save the selected item to the order. So now after collecting the convenient delivery slot from the customer, we can send this data to the server to save with the order. So to do that, we can use the REST API module again and uh, connect the edge with the group to indicate and let's see expand this and now let's find the API endpoint for the same. I'm copying the API endpoint and paste here and enable the advanced configuration. In this case, this is not a get request, it is a post request. And then the query params, here it is order ID and the shop ID. So here we know the shop ID, but order ID is dynamic to the e-commerce chatbot, which will be available as a native variable, which is order ID. Here in the body, we can create a custom body and then simply paste this data format and replace this predefined value with the variable. So here the date will be from the selected date from the user. So we have used a variable named 
select a day id example i'm copying the variable name here and in the body i'm pasting the variable selected day id and again with the time example selected slot id so when a user reach on this particular step this data will be pushed to the server with this information so this is how it works i hope now you got an idea about how to build an advanced chatbot using rest api and the dynamic response messages so if you are a backend developer you can build amazing backends and use the whatsapp as a front end to build the application you can visit librami.com and sign up for a free account even from the basic package you can access the rest api feature and build amazing things if you have any questions free feel to comment on this youtube video also if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure you have subscribed we will be posting more amazing videos thank you